What's up everybody? It's your boy Chad Alexander Cooper. I hope you guys are ready for this treat. I am so excited to present to you this amazing library assignment uh, for my college, Full Sun University, the Juilliard of Film and Music Production in the Entertainment Industry. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. So this is a cool comic book. It's more than a comic book, actually. It is a graphic novel, which means it, it has the beat on the phone. So I hope that you guys enjoy this delicious, served story. And it's ready for you. Let's get into it. So we're going to find out that Magneto uh, is a mastermind villain. He has superpowers that goes beyond the wildest dreams. He can Anything with his mind. Really crazy. Um, and he's being held by the U.S. forces. They're trying to do whatever they can to destroy him. But it's too late. His his friend Snow, she breaks him free, and he gets out of there. And they just cannot believe what just happened. Here. They have been deceived. They have. So now the next thing is here is that we are about to see a little more things unfold. As they have been defeated, and they just can't believe they have by this music, they Magneto. Magneto is like, okay, yup, yeah, I'm ready, I'm fired up. I want to destroy every human being on this earth, and I'm gonna make sure these things can rule the world. Um, Alexander is ten steps ahead of Magneto. He knows exactly what's been going on, and he's preparing to increase his team, the X Men. The X Men, they are a group of superheroes use their powers for greater good instead of killing people they save people even if people don't really want them to save them <laughs> sometimes you're like no you're weird you're not you can do things but okay you can't do things but okay thank you thank you goodbye but they do it anyways because they really want to make sure that people are safe and they use their powers for their good and they are still destroyed by you don't want them to be safe um here, there's a new girl in town. Her name is Kitty, and I still understand why they chose that name, but they chose to. <laughs> I was not around four years old watching the first movie. I was like, Kitty, okay. And then, okay, um, and don't be wrong, please keep your mind off the gutter. Okay, okay and then <laughs> next thing we see Wolverine is like, Well, who's this girl? We don't know her. And Alexander's like, well, she has cool powers and she can walk through walls and we're going to help her learn how to use her powers and she can join the team. It's like, say what? And then, of course, Storm is like, don't be a jerk, uh, Wolverine. Be nice. Let's work together. They get themselves together because then they realize there's a war coming on. They go and they go and um, ambush something. They ambush Magneto and his crew. They are holding somebody, I still don't understand, somebody, very important, hostage. And they go and save them. And there's a cosmic battle. They fight, they duke it out, gets ugly. Um, one of those superheroes actually has, he can turn into metal, solid metal. And there's this fat dude that's really huge. And that didn't work out because he was actually stronger and more solid. And that was very embarrassing. Fast forward, we see that Magneto is like, okay, y'all beat me in this war. I'm going to beat y'all in y'all's own house. He breaks into the X-Men's home. And he basically tries to steal the Cerebro Powerball that controls the Cerebro. Kitty helps Alexander by taking it and runs for her life <laughs> with the ball. But she trips and falls and she, fall she passes out. She falls into the floor because she can actually go through walls and stuff. And the ball rolls into right into the hands that made it go. He's like, yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping. Now he has the ball and he is trying to use his ball to do whatever he can to destroy every human impossible. He's going to use his ball so he can know where every human is on the earth. So he can actually find them and kill them. Um... Alexander's like, that ain't gonna happen. So he sends his group of 
He uses his telepathy and he's able to find the location of where Magneto is. By this time, Magneto's already absorbed the power and he's ready and he's charged up. He's like, let's do this. Um, and Alexander's like, well, you can do as much as you want, but you ain't gonna go far. So they about to, you know, go like in the hood. They're you know, they gonna take the earrings off, take their shoes off, get that Vaseline and let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> in the hallway, they fighting, okay? They getting ready to get gully up in this piece. So, this is what's happening, okay? They are ready to go, okay? They are going for it. They are fighting. They are going at it. Wolverine is slicing people up with his, you know, his sharp fingers and he's doing his thing. Um, it's getting pretty ugly here. Uh, we see that they are not giving up here. They're not going to allow uh, Magneto to do what he needs to do. People are biting people's ankles. They're falling over. They're screaming, no, 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 no. And lots of things are happening here. Let's talk about the art here. We've already talked about the story. Look at the art. It's crisp. It's clear. It's a little muffled in parts, and that's probably because I took screenshots. And also, <laughs> it is it was produced in 1990. So, you know, going back, this is the 90s. I grew up in the 90s. I was born in 95, so I have memories of the late 90s only. <laughs> Anything before that, I was literally in my crib. Okay, and then going forward, sorry, this is blurry. Um, we see the detail. Look at the detail. Look at the the lettering. You can read the lettering. Well, for the most part. Um, the colors are popping. I don't know what they did. I have software called, I love to use Procreate. That's what I do for my artwork, because it is amazing. And you can literally draw light. But this is 1990. They probably produced it in 89, and they released it in 90, 1990. Um, look at this. Well, this part's blurry. I'm sorry. The next part's gonna be better. I promise. Um, yes. There we go. Now, look. Look at the detail here. I don't know how they did that in 1990. Um, how they made these, these colors do what they do. I mean, the light. I mean, I mean, the other colors are great. But it's the light they draw using, uh, color contrast and blending they really did that okay so i just want to say thank you guys for watching this video fun fact nine years later the original x-men movie will be out on theaters i was actually four years old when we went to go see the first one and i will never forget it hugh jackson was amazing guys i love y'all thank you for watching